Storm 4 Max radar is quiet. Now, as we pan all the way to the west here, you can see there's a few showers across Minnesota. Don't have to worry about those. The showers that I am watching uh, watch across North Dakota and Montana. Now, that's with the cold front. That cold front will be dropping down by tomorrow night. So future forecast, until then, what you're going to see is that southeast breeze through this afternoon and into this evening. And again, with that, it will be cooler near Lake Michigan. Uh, more clouds start to fill in uh, for the time being late in the day on Wednesday, but we get through the entire day on Wednesday dry. Now watch what happens though late afternoon and evening on Wednesday. You can see some rain to the northwest of us by 10 o'clock starting to move into our northwestern spots up towards Fond du Lac and Beaver Dam. Those showers pass through roughly around 11 midnight Wednesday night and they should be out of here by Thursday morning. By Thursday afternoon we could see a return of a pop-up shower. Just a chance there. Now how much rain are we expecting tomorrow night? Looks to be about a quarter inch or less across most of southeastern Wisconsin. Could get some higher amounts up towards Fond du Lac. So your forecast for today, 44. Inland 48 degrees, maybe a few spots close to 50. Mostly cloudy skies. For tonight, becoming partly cloudy. A low temperature of 36 degrees. And here is your seven-day forecast. 57 for the high tomorrow. That'll be nice. Some rain, though, tomorrow night, and then a chance of showers in the afternoon on Thursday. Thursday and Friday, rain chances are very scattered, not going to rain all day. And then the one day that looks like a soaker is Saturday with a high of 50 degrees. Could see a few snow showers, rain or snow showers Sunday morning, 46, and then Monday back up to 50 degrees. Very typical for the end of March.